Hello online viewers, in this lecture video we will be talking about similar graph. What is similar graph and what is the use of similar graph? So basically similar graph looks like this. It is a bit different than normal graph and it is uh, and, and it is used uh, when there is a large number of data to be plotted on one scale and a finite or small amount of data to be plotted on other scale. So as you as so as you can see the x axis of the uh, x axis of the similar graph is in logarithmic scale and y axis is in linear scale uh, as if of uh, as if of any normal graph as if of any normal graph paper. So so since the x-axis is in linear scale, it is in a linear scale. We can we can plot data with large variations. So we can see so we can see the least number of data we can plot is one, and the maximum number of data we can plot is ten million up to ten thousand or up to ten million. We can plot the data. So basically, we'll be using similar graph in this lecture video for calculation of coefficient of curvature for calculation of coefficient of curvature and coefficient of curvature and coefficient of uniformity for both fine and coarse aggregate. So firstly, for this we'll need a similar graph and secondly we'll be needing the data which we have which which we have achieved from sieve analysis of aggregate so firstly here we have taken the weight of sample aggregate to be 5 kg dry weight and then here we have different sieve sizes 75 40 20 16 12.5 10 4.75 and the last zone being a pan and here we have weight retained weight, weight retained in each of those and in each of those in each of those sieve sizes and here we have the percentage weight retained which is calculated by multiplying w1 into 100 divided by weight w so 0 into 100 divided by 500 is 0 similarly and then we have then we have similar down 2420 into 100 divided by 5 kg which we get 48.4 percent similar same process has been done for done for all the sieve sizes sieve, uh, sieve sizes and similarly the cumulative weight retained has been obtained by calculate by adding uh, by adding the respective uh, weight uh, weight retained 0 0 0 plus 48.4 is 48.4 48.4 plus 32.8 is 81.2 similarly we have gone up 99.2 percent and here we have calculated percentage finer by 100 minus x which is basically 100 minus 0 100 percent 100 minus 0 100 100 minus 48.4 51.51.6 51 now we'll be plotting this data in the similar graph paper so be, so so as we can so as i have previously said in the x-axis or in the logarithmic scale we'll be we'll We'll be plotting the data with large variations so we'll be basically plotting the sieve sizes in sieve sizes in x-axis so as we can see here in here in uh, here uh, here for fine aggregate we have used sieve size ranging from 4.75 mm to up to 75 micron so basically it is uh, so basically it is very difficult to use uh, graph paper for plotting such type of data therefore we'll be using semi log semi log semi log graph so firstly here we have so 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 basically in this uh, so basically uh, in this similar graph we'll be plotting sieve size in x axis sieve size in x axis and we'll be plotting percentage and, and we'll be plotting percentage finer and we will be plotting percentage finer in y axis so basically we'll be plotting percentage finer in y axis and here will be and here we'll be plotting and here uh, and here we'll be plotting 0 10 20 40 up to 100 and here in the and, and, and here as you can see in the x-axis the and, and here as you can see in the uh, x-axis the uh, value uh, differs uh, differs by value of 10 0 0.001 0 0.0 0 0.01 0 0.1 100 and so on 110 so basically as we, as you can see our first sieve size is 75 so uh, as you can see our first sieve size is is 75 and our percentage finer is 100 so we need to find 75 in this data so as you can see here is 10 if here is 10 then this is 20 this is 30 this is 14 this is 50 this is 50 this is 15 this is 16 this is 70 and this is 80 and so 75 is between 70 70 and 80 so 75 is over here in the middle of 70 and 80 so next we will be requiring a uh, uh, so next we will be uh, using a scale so 75 is between 70 and 80 over here 70 and 80 so basically over here this is this is the line 75 and 80 and the person is finer at 75 is 100 is 100 so we'll be plotting 100 so one of the so one of the Tip while uh, so one of the tip a uh, tip or one of the easiest way of plotting similar graph is to begin from 
begin from larger ship size to smaller is is to begin from larger ship size to smaller ship size in descending order this helps to uh, this helps to draw the uh, draw, draw the graph in a easier way next we need a uh, ship size 40 and the person is finding again 100 so now we'll be sorting 40 so here is so here, here was 10 here is 30 then this is definitely 40 as you can see the the this the black uh, the black thick lines differ by a range of 10 while the smaller thin lines uh, similarly the smaller thin lines differ by a value of plus 10 10 20 30 similarly so this will be 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 similarly so now uh, so now in 40 we, we need to plot again 100 which is 20 30 40 we need to join these two lines these two lines similarly now next reading we have 20 ship size 20 and in ship size 20 the person is finally is 51.6 in 20 we need 51.6 so here is 50 so as you can see here is 50 and in y axis the value differs by a range of 10 uh, range of 10 in the larger black lines as in any normal as if of any uh, normal graph paper but the smaller black lines uh, but as, as you can see the smaller uh, but as you can see the smaller black lines uh, refer, uh, differ by the value of 2 so, this is, so if this is 20 then this is 22 24 26 28 30 so now uh, so now in the so now as you can see from our data in the value of uh, in, in the value of uh, in the value of 20 the person in the in the ship size of 20 the person is fine is 51.6 so in 20 the person is fine so in 20 the person is fine is 51 so this is 50 this is 52 so 51 is somewhere here now we'll be now we'll be joining this again Joining this again, so we'll be basically repeating. So we'll be basically uh, repeating, uh, re repeating this process for all of our data for 16, 12.5, 10, 4.75 until we have reached, uh, until we have completely, uh, until we have completely reached the data. And so we will be, uh, and so we'll obtain our, uh, so we'll obtain our, uh, so and so basically we'll obtain our data for coarse aggregate as this way. And similarly for fine aggregate, we need to plot the plot those plot all the data and we'll get uh, and and we'll and, uh, and and we'll get a similar and we'll get uh, and we'll get uh, and, and 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 we'll get source nature of graph uh, and we'll get source nature of the graph. Let me just zoom in a bit. So as you can see. This is the uh, this is the nature of the graph which we uh, which we obtain now uh, so now in order to calculate the coefficient of uniformity coefficient of uniformity and coefficient of coefficient of uniformity coefficient of co curvature so we have formula for coefficient of curvature cu equals to d60 by d10 and similarly for coefficient of curvature we have formula uh, cc equals to d30 whole square divided by d10 into d60 so what is D60, D10, D30, D10, D60, uh, D60. So before jumping into that, I would like to explain what is the use of what is the use of coefficient of what is the use of uh, what are the use of these uh, what are the use of these uh, values the uh, what are the use of these uh, value the coefficient of curvature the coefficient of curvature basically helps us to uh, helps us to ascend uh, helps us to asset or it gives us the information whether the aggregate is whether the gives us the information whether the aggregate is well graded it gives us the information that whether the aggregate is well graded or poorly graded if the value of coefficient of uh, is well graded or poorly graded, if the coefficient of, if, the, if the value of coefficient of curvature ranges in between ranges in between 1 and 3 it is said to be well graded but if the value does not lies in this range it is said to be it is said to be poorly graded so now we'll be talking about how to calculate d60 d10 d30 so basically when we have finally plotted our graph as we as we have shown as i have already as i have as i have already talked about next we will be drawing horizontal lines so so for d30 we'll be drawing we'll be drawing horizontal line from d30 d30 to the graph and then will plot uh, un until it touches the graph and from and once it touches the graph will be drawing a vertical line downward vertical line downward and vertical line downward and the value which we obtain uh, and the value which we obtain in the logarithmic scale uh, lo uh, in the logarithmic uh, in the logarithmic scale is 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 said to be d30 similarly for d60 and d10 will be drawing original original lines from uh, original line from 60 and 10 and similar and similarly dropping vertical lines downward and uh, uh, and calculating the required value so as you can see in d30 we have obtained the value of 0 0.6 
we have obtained the value of 0 0.6 and similarly in d10 we have obtained value of 0 0.4 and we have and from d60 we have obtained value of 0 0.7 0 point, uh, 0 point, uh, 0 0.7 this is very a simple process just we need to draw tangents just we need to just we need to draw straight horizontal lines to the to the graph and plot it vertically down similarly for score segment we have done similar process and, and got the required value so so i'll be uh, so i'll be uh, so for fine aggregate so i'll be calculating so i'll be calculating one of the values for fine aggregate so for so for fine aggregate here we have obtained d30 to be 0 0.6 d30 d30 to be so we can see d30 to be 0 0.6 this is in mm this is, this is in this is in mm and this is in uh, as we have plotted down in sieve size so facing and next we have d10 and so for d10 we have obtained the value of 0 0.4 0 0.4 d10 equals to 0. Uh, 0 0.4 mm and for d60 and and for d60 as you can see we have obtained the value of 0 0.7 mm 0 0.7 mm and therefore now we can calculate coefficient of uh, coefficient of uniformity coefficient of uniformity coefficient of uniformity cu equals to d60 divided by d60 divided by d10 which uh, d60 d60 divided by uh, d60 divided by d10 and coefficient of curvature uh, and coefficient of curvature cc equals to d30 whole square d30 0 0.6 whole square divided by d10 is 0 0.4 into uh, 0 0.4 into d60 is 0 0.7 so both this value uh, so using the calculator so using the calculator both the so so by using the calculator we can get both of these value and this comes to be 1.75 and 1.08 so from this we can uh, so from this we can say as uh, as the value of as the value of coefficient of uh, coefficient of curvature lies between 1 and 3 so we can say the given fine aggregate sample is well graded is is a uh, is uh, is well graded and uh, is uh, is well uh, is is well graded. Similarly, for fine aggregate, we can uh, similarly for fine similarly for coarse uh, aggregate, we can easily calculate the value of coefficient of uniformity and coefficient uh, coefficient of uh, and coefficient of uniformity and coefficient of curvature. So in this lecture video, we have basically uh, covered what is sieve analysis and how sieve analysis and how sieve analysis uh, and how sieve analysis works. If you have any if you have any queries uh, regarding sieve analysis how to use sieve analysis or how to calculate any of this data you can comment down below and i will uh, try to answer all of them till then you can subscribe the channel uh, like the uh, like the video and you can uh, like the video and you can follow our instagram page for uh, for, for more of our latest contents thank you